Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here, and welcome to today's video. Today's video will be the last in the mini series of installing, setting up, and configuring Cache OS. I just want to say from the get go, I am absolutely delighted with the finished results. So we've managed to upgrade the uh, 15 year old PC, uh, which was in Microsoft's terms e-waste to a five-year-old PC which Microsoft again say is e-waste. So that's the specs of the PC as you can see. Nothing mind-numbing or mind-blowing particularly but nevertheless it has added an extra string to the bow and that extra string is virtual boxing. The 15-year-old PC just was not capable hardware wise of virtual boxing whereas this machine is more than capable of running oracle's virtual box what that has allowed me to do is a full install of windows 10 and windows 11 the reason i've installed windows 11 specifically is ready for the october 24 h2 update this is the 22 h2 version um, and I would like to see and experience the impact 24H2 has on a very standard um, computer, i.e. a quad-core with 8 gigs of RAM. Now, it is in a virtual box, I appreciate that, it's not real life, but the virtual box is going to give me a whole ton of opportunities to have a check out of some linux and some bsd distributions as well as some windows shenanigans so the whole process from start to finish with cache os has been an absolute breeze even if you know nothing about arch linux i would stick my neck out and say a cache os install is so much easier and quicker than a windows 11 install how windows fanboys can come onto this channel and say oh linux is difficult um you have to know how to do this one of the beauties of cache os is that most things are a one button either install or configuration there's no spending hours in the terminal learning command inputs required Whereas with something like a vanilla arch, well, you are going to be attached to the terminal. This is one of the powers of Cache OS. One of the other, one of the other big misconceptions is Cache OS is only good for gaming. Bullshit. Cache OS is fantastic no matter what you do as a home user on your PC. Whether you game or not, is irrelevant it just so happens that i do game so i can check out the full package but if you only do internet or other bits and pieces well cache os is going to give you a fantastic experience so out of this whole project what i would like to do is try and put over to you guys and girls you know, the home PC user, my experience of Windows 11 versus Cache OS. And uh, I'll try my best to do this um, without bias and factually based on my personal experience. So the Windows 11 installation process was quite long was quite laborious and was personal data wise pretty intrusive so once it's installed there we go the computer's booted up it's up and running we've got average hardware so I'm gonna go with a quad core PC with 8 gigabytes of RAM and you're going to share with me my experience of what it's like to use Windows 11. So there you go. We're off, up and running. We're suited and booted. Uh, and the first thing that kicks in 
is telemetry. <laughs> oh my god. So now telemetry's kicked in. Uh, the PC's only been up a minute or two. Uh, and already it's decided it wants to run some updates. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to run updates. Well, tough shit. You need updates. Why is my PC slowing down? Um, okay. And then the screenshotter and the key logging software kicks in. <laughs> I think you all know where this is going. Uh, and all of a sudden, I'm like, really? Really? I'm slowing down to a crawl. What's going on? And then, whoops, did did I make the big mistake of opening Microsoft Edge. Well, there's my 8 gigabytes of RAM gone. <laughs> the SSD is now spinning away faster than I don't know what. Trying to read write data. Uh, and all of a sudden, my PC uh, is not capable of doing anything. And I'm like, well, I've not even run a game yet. What's going to be the result of this then? Boom! <laughs> Your PC runs like a 1950s washing machine. It's terrible. The whole experience for me was terrible. The installation was intrusive. It was laborious. The updates were huge and slow to come down. The .NET stuff was even slower to install. It was horrendous. Now let's compare it to a Linux installation experience. What does that feel like? <laughs> you all know where this is going to go, don't you? Well, it makes you, first of all, very appreciative of the streamlined the simplicity of the Linux installation. Why is it turning round? I don't want it to turn round. Turn round. Okay. Well, this could be a disaster. So, here we go. Here's our Linux installation. Okay. So, the same 8 gigabytes of RAM. Our Linux installation is up and running. And the PC is suited and booted. And that's literally what it feels like, people. It's a different world. It's a world away. You know, with Linux, it's fast. It just doesn't slow down. It's not encumbered by all the shenanigans that Windows comes with out of the box. Your PC never slows down. Compared to a Windows install and run, Linux feels like a jet aircraft as opposed to the really old turboprop fairy swordfish. And that is literally what you feel like. You feel like you're on a supersonic aircraft that can just mess all over Windows whenever it feels like. By the way, this is all being made and played on the Cache OS. Just saying. Absolutely fantastic. So, that's what my experience personally has been of Windows 11 versus Linux. So, the only question I've got left for all those people out there who are currently running perhaps Windows 10 and thinking you know what are my options what do I do um, do I upgrade to Windows 11 is my PC going to be powerful enough uh, you know and that's not discussing things like the introduction of AI into your operating system my answer to you guys and girls would be to get rid of Windows go and download and install Cache OS right now and you will never ever look back 
Let me have your thoughts underneath the video. Let me know what your plans are because end of life of Windows 10 is next year. So you're going to have to do something, even if it's staying with an unsupported Windows 10. I'd be very interested to know what your plans are. I've already made my decision. I've got my beautiful Cache OS, which is a rolling release, which I never have to install again, uh, unless it breaks and balks. And really, the only way it can break or balk is if I break it. If I do something I shouldn't be doing. If I just run the updates on a regular basis and do my stuff on it, it should outlive the hardware. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebs video.